What does the names and the letters mean in front of my dog's name in the pedigree? Don't worry about it, I got you. Bully game etiquette was sad. Transportation made illegal cash on Greyhound. Don't like the bus no more, I travel on the train now. Travel on the train now. Don't like the bus no more, I travel on the train now. Travel on the train. Back at you again with another bully etiquette video from Sab Kennels and today we got some ABKC paperwork out and we're gonna walk through this and we're gonna show you guys what the names and abbreviations mean in front of your dog's name on the paperwork so right here we have <clears throat> some ABKC paperwork on a dog that we um, own named Hey Siri right and if you look at the beginning of the name you see Bully Island Kennels. And what that means is that is where the dog was produced and purchased from. You see the slash SAB's Hey Siri. That means the dog was produced and purchased from Bully Island Kennels and is owned by SAB. Right? So that is what those names, and you might, you know, Bully Island, they put their whole kennel name. I only use my initials, so um, that's just how it works. Different breeders will use different things, different tags to let you know that that's them that created that dog, right? So we're going over again. We see this Bully Island Kennels slash SAB's Hey Siri. That means the dog was produced and purchased from Bully Island Kennels, is owned by SAB. Okay, now I got another one for you, right? This is Diggs' paperwork. We're going to take a look at that. So this right here, this is uh, Captain Diggs' ABKC paperwork. And you see at the beginning of the name, it looks a little different. You see, it's just the initials, just SAB's Captain Diggs. And what that tells you right there is that this dog was owned and produced by us so it's produced by sab and it's owned by sab so that is what it's going to look like when you uh produce your own stuff when you make your own productions you're going to put your abbreviation your kennel name or whatever you want to use for your tag at the beginning of your puppy papers so whenever you go through the pedigree and you will see your dog's name or when somebody else um looks at the pedigree and they might have a, a grand uh puppy um off your dog and when they look at the pedigree they're gonna see your kennel tag at the beginning of the name back in the pedigree and they know okay sab produced my dog's grandfather or great grandfather so um that's pretty much what it is man it's pretty much that simple and then you have some kennels um, that will, uh, they won't even put that they own that dog, especially if they, they buy it from a, from a big name kennel, right? If you buy from like, a, okay, let's say a Louis V, right? You buy from Louis V lines or, or you buy from their, you buy from their stuff, right? Then you might not even put your, um, your kennel name on it some people you might they might leave it at the end and they might say of right so you have louis v lines um i'm a, we're just going for an example we're going to say cracker jack right so you have louis v lines cracker jack of sab that lets you know that the big kennel louis v lines um is who produced this dog that's where i went to purchase this dog right Louis V Lines, Cracker Jack. The dog's name's Cracker Jack of SAB. So we purchased it from Louis V Lines. We named the dog Cracker Jack, but it's owned of, is owned by SAB. So um, that was a pretty quick one, man. Um, just kind of letting y'all guys know that is what the, um, that is what the, um, the pedigrees and the, the abbreviations and the names in front of the, the dog's name in the pedigree, that is what that stands for. Don't like the bus no more, I travel on the train now. Travel on the train now. Don't like the bus no more, I travel on the train now.